Okay, we are going to find out if the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of n to the nth power over 3 to the n to the second power converges or not. It seems pretty crazy, but it's not that bad at all, because we notice this power is n and this power is n squared, namely n times n. So the top and bottom, they both have n for the exponent. Therefore, it's a good idea to use the root test. And you can also use the ratio test, but let me just use the root test. It works out much better. So let me just write this down for you guys. And remember for the root test, what we do is you are going to check the limit as n goes to infinity and the, the, you take the nth root of this expression. And I'm not going to write down lim. You can just write it as, as n goes to infinity. That's another way to write down taking a limit as well. Anyway, we will take the nth root of this expression. And because everything is positive, you don't need to put the absolute value. No, doesn't really matter. So you can just write down n to the nth power over 3 to the n squared, like that. And as I said, you don't touch the absolute value, it doesn't really matter. Well, the nth root is I say divide the power by the index. So on the top, we're just doing algebra. So we have this n divided by the index n. And then divided by 3 to the n squared, that's the original power, but you also divide this by the index n. So we see that we're still doing algebra, that's why I put on the equal sign. n over n is just 1, so on the top we have n to the first power over, on the bottom this is just 3, n squared over n is just n like this. Well, well, as n goes to infinity, you know on the top it's infinity on the bottom, 3 to infinity is still infinity, but let me tell you, the bottom infinity is much bigger by the list. So you can say this right here approaches 0. You can also change this to x and then to L'Hopital's rule, but for my class, usually when you see this kind of situation, you can just draw a conclusion real quick. This approaches 0, and you can just say by the list, right? Because this is just n to some positive power over some number bigger than 1 to uh, nth power, this is the situation. Well, in this root test situation, we get a 0. Is this a happy face or a sad face situation? It's a happy face situation. Very good. Why? Because we get to draw a conclusion. Remember, for the root test and also the ratio test, as long as you don't end up with 1, that's the one that we don't like, right? We can draw a conclusion, including 0. So this right here is less than 1. So that's good, right? And of course, everything's positive, so 0 is less than 1, that's good. So you can just draw the conclusion right here. Let me just write it down. Conclusion. This series, as n goes from 1 to infinity of n to the nth power over 3 to the n square, this right here converges, and you just write down by the root test. And do not write down RT, because RT could also be like ratio test. So, roof test. See about the out. Don't be lazy. That's it.